stirring things up in the kitchen here, and I'm not talking about food. Uh, uh, we are back with our culinary explorer, Dan Kohler, who is breaking down the science behind one of America's favorite snack foods, popcorn. I, I, I don't think it's just America's favorite. I think no, in good. fact, it is a snack eaten around the world, and we have evidence of it being eaten as long ago as 3600 B.C. B.C.? Whoa. B.C. Wow. Well, it is wow. my That's favorite snack time, shirt. B.C. stands for four corn. Mm -hmm. four, four corn. corn. Four corn. <laughs> I'm going to get this popping right away. Uh, the flavors in front of you right now, you've got okay. balsamic garlic, mm. which is really good. That's mm. chili yeah. lime, mm -hmm. and mm. some cocoa puff. Yeah. Mm. Cocoa puff? Yeah. I am so and popcorn. for cocoa puff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, now, you know, popcorn didn't really become popular in America until the Depression. It was really not something that we consumed, but because it was so cheap and so inexpensive, and it's such an abundant snack, once you pop it, the volume ratio right. is huge. People were eating it by the tons by that point. Wow. Well, when did it become like the movie snack? Like, ah. When did popcorn yeah. become, you can't say popcorn without movie? Right. right. Early on, movie theaters wanted to be known as theaters. They were palatial, they wanted to be pretty, they, they banned snacks. Popcorn vendors set up outside, and then slowly movie theaters realized they were losing a lot of money to the mm -hmm. vendors outside, so they moved it inside. And by 1945, over half of the popcorn in the country was consumed in movie theaters. And then oh. when did they decide to charge an arm and a leg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh that was right off the bat. In fact, wow. movie theaters make more than 50% of their profits from the snacks that are sold. I more, 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 fit more, more money than they're but making off the tickets. But when you smell popcorn, yeah. you cannot yeah. not get it. <laughs> you have to have it. Do you know, I take my own in. Oh, of you course. Of course. I do. Yeah. You know that's <laughs> illegal. Okay, but now, I want, can you break down, like, the physics of yeah, popcorn? Yeah, like, guys, it's time to be serious here for a little okay, bit. Okay, let's be popcorn serious. Popcorn is, serious. for me, the best example of uh, a lesson in, in physics. We've got potential versus kinetic energy. Uh -huh. So potential energy is the energy of an object at rest, an object not in motion. I have a right ton now, of potential energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're spoiling. It. Yeah, I You're, might work out or I waste. might not. <laughs> <laughs> so these, these kernels have a lot of energy in them. Now, as soon as they pop, the instant they pop, which you can hear, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The energy goes from potential to kinetic. In that instant, that kinetic energy is the energy of an object in motion. Look at this. Wait we for go. it. Wait for we it. We got it. We've got some. Uh, we got oh some my! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> potential, kinetic. Come on! Here it goes. Here it goes. The last, one. Oh, oh, the last one was oh. me going, yeah. you know what? You I got a sore throat, I can't really go. <laughs> now, what's actually happening to make a kernel pop? We've got, we should talk about anatomy. A popcorn kernel has the hull, the bran, that's the outside. Inside is the endosperm, which is the starch, and then the, the germ, and the germ is where all of the nutrition comes from. So, there's also a tiny droplet of water trapped inside the hull. Uh -uh. When you oh. heat the corn, when you heat the corn, you're adding heat, that water starts to vibrate. The water wants to go from liquid to steam. The instant it changes to steam, it ruptures the hull. The endosperm, which is liquefied at that point, liquefied starch, spills out and freezes instantly. And this is instantly frozen starch. It's so what? exciting! It's like, <laughs> but, so it's not true that my mom said it will pop when you go upstairs and brush your teeth and put your pajamas on? <laughs> Did your mother want you to eat popcorn after you had already brushed your oh, teeth? Oh, yeah, that was her big tradition. We would read books and eat popcorn in bed. <laughs> Do you have any right. teeth left? Huh? Do you have any teeth, teeth left? None of your business. <laughs> now, the other thing to know about popcorn, there's infinite variety of shapes within two genres. So we have what we call the bell, okay. and we also have the butterfly. Mm. Now, popcorn will really only pop in oh, these perfect. two perfect. shapes. But why only two shapes? Ah, it's how, the hull, it's how the hull ruptures and how the lobes of endosperm inside are arranged. Now, if the, if the starch expands at different rates, okay. the lobes of starch, we get the butterfly. If the lobes of starch expand at the exact same rate, we get the, the bell. bell. Now the bell, we, in the last couple of years, uh, biologists have been able to hybridize corn so that we can grow popcorn that is either all bell or all butterfly. The reason we do this is because caramel corn companies, cheese corn companies, they prefer the bell for candy coatings. It has a lot more surface area and sometimes it's got Ooh. these fissures that really yeah. gather the sugar. Mm. It's great for that. God bless them. Now, yeah. uh, <laughs> They're doing God's work. They really are. They really are. The, the other thing to know about popcorn is it's not the only grain that can pop. We've also got sorghum and quinoa. Anything with a hard hull and internal starch has the ability to rupture in the same way. Oh, Question. Yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Can you pop any corn or does it have ah. to be popcorn? No, popcorn is a specific breed. 
Oh. Not all corn dried will turn into this because most corn, if you dry it, the hull doesn't get hard enough. Popcorn specifically has a very thick outer bran and you need that to maintain internal pressure. If that bran isn't thick enough, the corn will just, it, it'll just Plunk. cook, right? So, so that, that bran holds in the water, it holds in the starch and that starch, like I said, liquefies and then when the vapor leaves, yeah. it instantly freezes. So um, you guys, there are three samples in front of oh, us here. I've what are we having? Uh, you've got you've got cocoa puff, you've got chili lime, and balsamic mm -hmm. garlic, which I'm making over here a little balsamic bit. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Now the uh, the other thing to to discuss is is the sound of popcorn, right? Does anyone know where the sound comes from? Um, An yeah. angel gets its wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the rapid expansion of the gas. Yeah, uh, a little bit, oh. a little bit. The hull and the yes, husk. Doctor. A little bit. It's oh. not. Oh. I like I like I like having a doctor over here. It's oh, not like a lot of times a lot of people thought it was the rupturing of the hull that made this sound, but actually what researchers have found only very recently is that it is the change in pressure when the water vapor escapes, the instant change in pressure within the hull causes the starch to vibrate. And that vibration is the sound. It's very similar to the pop a cork makes when you bring it out of a champagne bottle. So it's the, oh, you know it's that the popcorn sound. screaming. I've never heard it that sound. Is. I can't imagine the conversation. Hi, honey, I'm home. Yeah, what'd you do today? I figured out where the sound of pop is. <laughs> like, like yeah. gets to say that. Yeah. I do. do. You do. We do. You do. The six of you are in that lucky, lucky. Dan, my question: How do you know when to stop popping the popcorn? Mm -hmm. My trick: Always, I wait for two seconds between pops. Two, two three seconds. Okay. What you have to do is train yourself to be okay with a few unpopped kernels. Right. Yeah. You, bur right. you burn it Those when you go best. for a hundred percent completion. Yeah. Yeah. True. And if you eat a seed, does it grow into a stalk in your belly, like my, my mom would say? I'll give you a few, yeah. and then we'll do an experiment. A couple of weeks, we'll, we'll, okay. <laughs> we'll, a couple of weeks, we'll see how you're doing. Stout them, stout them, stout them. Wonderful. For all three of the one uh, recipes yes. we shared with you here, and uh, are they all good? Well, <laughs> I ate most of it. I, I love popcorn. So. Uh, we're going to put it on our website, and you can go to Dan's site, which is renegadekitchen.com. And our friends, by the way, at GH Creators Popcorn are giving you at home a chance to win their variety pack. You want more details? All you have to do is drop in on our Facebook page and you'll find all the facts and figures there. We're coming back. And Sophie, your turn. Yes, Yay. when we come back, I am going to be greening you and the family for Earth Day.